Greetings and peace. What's going on, everyone? Sarita here, the creator of NaturallyHighlight.com, the place where I assist you with attuning to and remembering your life purpose and standing in your power with joy and with alignment with your higher self. So today I'm doing a angel love guidance reading for whomever this resonates with. This is for all signs. And then if you have not seen the other reading, it's a general reading for the week for everyone. And in that reading, I did a message also from the Ascendant Masters. They asked to work with various people who were listening and who want a higher or who want more of a, a union, someone to work with someone to help them out this week and to help them with understanding where they are and what's going on and how to take things to the next level in a powerful way is what I'm getting. So in this reading here, I'm going to pull a couple cards, but this reading is not going to be that long because I made such a long reading on the other one. This one needn't be that long, but we'll just go with the flow and see what comes through for you for this week in terms of love. What's going on this week? What does everyone need to know? As far as love is concerned, let's take a look. The first card coming up is sadness and isolation. In this card coming up in this position, this is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords, basically, I'm seeing someone who is going, they're going through a troubling time. And they're having to figure out how to establish their own, their own thoughts their own sense of self. There's a lot of comparing themselves to other people. And their lover and them kind of are going into two different directions. I definitely feel like you're living with a stranger or that a stranger's in your house, as the song says by Tamiya. There's a song by Tamia. I heard her song in my head. And yeah, they said there's a stranger in my house. It could be you or it could be the other person who is not connected, not feeling connected to the other person anymore. This could be a, this is, no, I was going to say this, this is definitely not feeling like a new realization. It's something that you have come to terms with at this point. So there's plans being made. There's plans being made in order to separate from the situation and to go your own path and to go your own way. Some of you are going to turn this energy around, though. If the other person is willing to communicate with you, who you all have had struggles and challenges, some of you are going to turn this blockage around and you're going to make it into a positive thing. But it's going to require an enlightened um, it's it's gonna it's gonna really require you to come out of your lower self to deal with it. So I definitely feel like you would have to sit down and definitely tap into before you even do it. Tap into that that part of you that is always happy, that is always at peace, that can see things from other people's points of view. If this situation is worth working on then it's non-abusive. They're saying if the situation is non-abusive, then it's worth working on. It's worth working through. Because there's something of a, a spiritual truth that you're there to realize and to understand. They're saying that some of you have been dealing with some things with the other person, and they're saying that it's been, <laughs> it's been something, and you can't even make these things up. If you are someone who's dealing with sabotage, with someone, yeah, sabotaging you, who's, who is telling you, trying to tell you to be someone other than who you are, then you are some of the ones who are dealing with the sadness and isolation. Because as you step into your power, the other person punishes you for being who you are, and they don't like it very much. Because this person needs to step into their power. And so as you step into your power, you some of you all are getting further and further away from your, your mate or your lover. But it's not your fault. 
You're saying the clues have been there, and now you have to choose. You have to choose what you really want. Others of you are are seeing. You have met someone, and this person is not all that they have seemed to be. We'll leave it there. Let's go to the next card, which is this one. Heart Chakra. As I'm pulling in this card for the Heart Chakra, it's evident that for some of you, you feel the love in the air. But many people with this Heart Chakra coming up, even though it's not reversed, I feel like it could be a small balance uh, that needs to take place because a blockage is there. And that blockage has to do not because it's actually there, but you're remembering what has happened to you from your past while you're in this Mercury retrograde period for this week. This is, this is coming up and it's showing, it's showing things that you saw before, but now you can't deny it anymore. It is what it is. You're discovering something about what you want. You're being reminded, though, to give yourself the love that you need so much that you could use. This is a symbol. This is a message that you can choose. You can choose something else, and there is no repercussion for it. Because there is only love. We're love. Underneath it all, we're all love. And if you don't feel supported, if someone is punishing you, they're blaming you all the time, and you feel like you constantly have to defend yourself, you constantly feel like you're going on a battleground, then that's not love. So some of you are being, you're being, you're being, you're being guided. You're being reminded to look at your past, look at what has been, look from, look at where you came from, look at where you are now. And, and be grateful for that. But some of you have to go. Some of you have to go, and you know it, but you're not ready yet. You don't think you're ready to go yet. So exit strategy. What's that exit strategy looking like? The next card coming up is this one. And this has to do with someone leading the other person. It's the Emperor card. And this comes with wise counsel. And of course, here's the ambulance again. So this is an important message. <laughs> so definitely listen to this one, of course. <laughs> you know, I live like on the borderline of the city and the county. So the fire truck seems to love coming. I mean, I'll pull my tarot deck out or I'll pull my oracles out. And as soon as I pull it out and I say, Welcome. As soon as I say the words, then I hear an ambulance and I just start laughing because energy attracts energy, as they say. But I'm not going to pause the reading. I'm going to keep going. So they're saying very strongly here to ground yourself for what is going on right now. Someone wise and loving can give you some messages, can help you out with reaching uh, an opportunity with taking advantage of an opportunity. Definitely not the best time to apply for new positions and jobs, and I didn't talk about that in the last reading. But I feel like some of you are going to meet a new lover, and this person could be a person who's a person of power. And you want to be mindful and make sure that this person is not going to be someone who's going to be misusing their power. You also may be the one who may be being reminded not to misuse your power. There is there's such a, a huge lesson here about you taking ownership for where you've been and also taking ownership for where you are right now. There's a message also saying that other people may be being asses. They may not be able to see clearly. They may not be objective. They may be 
on the fence about wanting to be in a relationship or not wanting to be in it. One minute they want it, one minute they don't. <sighs> Mental illness could be present. This is a time to, to ground yourself and discover what you want. It's not about the other person. It's never about the other person. And that's my reminder too, right? All of us have to be reminded it's never about the other person. So what are you going to get yourself involved in and do that is going to allow you to stay where you are if it's necessary, if it's not an abusive situation, so that you can assimilate and let the lessons sink in. So that way you don't have to repeat those lessons again. They're saying that the leadership that some of you are looking for that you seek is there. Some of you are looking for a mentor, someone who is strong and able to guide you and to help you see what your potential is, like what is the meaning of what I'm supposed to do. Even though you keep being reminded, it's like it's not enough. You want another sign. They're saying that the writing is on the wall, that you can do, you can do it. Your life purpose is yours. You don't have to, nobody else has to like it. That's what they're saying. Nobody has to like it. Step into, you're going to be getting, some of you are going to be getting a promotion based off of the jobs that you have gone back and reapplied for now that you weren't able to get before. Sure, it is a good time to reapply for a job that you got through, that you got like a, some of you got a referral or something from someone or were told word of mouth about a job or something, saw a job on a message board that you applied for in the past and you didn't get it. You never heard anything, whatever. It's a great time to reapply this week to that to see if you can get that. Because it's in Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde, you can go back and do things, fix things. If there was a rough spot with someone whom you were close to before, you kind of didn't know what happened. Could anything have happened? It's a good time to have that conversation and go back and talk to those people and see. But also, I'm getting the message that some of you already know the answer to this question. <laughs> and it maybe for and for some, yeah, they're saying it's not maybe, but for some of you, it was only a booty call. The person is not willing to do the deep work. They're not gonna do all of that. And it's um, they're saying that it's a, it, it's a fantasy to think that they're going to be able to do that because that's not what they were, came into your lives to do. Some of these people that came in, they came in just to remind you to have fun. They came to remind you to have fun. They were kind of like a, a sun that shined temporarily and, and now they're in your past. And some of, them, some of those people need to remain in the past, they're saying. <laughs> they need to stay back there because they're not for your present. Because you're evolving. They're not for your evolution. On the next level, okay? Unless you're just looking for a booty call, then that's who you can call. But for you, I, I feel like you want more. The one who this message is for. For some, you. it's like you didn't know that that's all it was, was a booty call. But you never had the discussion, but it was unsaid, confusing conversations. A good time to have them again with people you had them with before or maybe didn't ever have it because you feared the person was going to say something that didn't resonate with what you were saying or match it. It's a great time because your confidence is very high. So it's a good time to have those uncomfortable conversations. Just take your time because during Mercury Retrograde, Conversations can be going in loops and backwards and um, it can be misconstrued or things like that. Now the final angel card coming up this week, we've got this card here, victory. So definitely a time of victory as you stand in your truth, as you live and delve into what it is that you know that you need to be doing, tossing aside Various values that don't serve you anymore. Leaving behind relationships and dating patterns that you know are not uplifting you, that are not supporting your highest good. People that just want to take and they aren't willing to exchange, not happening. Victory is the result. 
by going it alone, moving into another direction, leaving behind the bull. Some of you are going to be saying, come on, you know I don't have time for this. And I'm getting a message that some, you don't even need to say it. You just go ahead and make your plans, make your, ex <laughs> make your exit strategy. <laughs> because you know, and I know, and the angels know, that some people are just not going to change. They don't want to do that because it requires owning up to them not being completely realized in this lifetime. And I know I'm not. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you, you don't get it right. And it's all good because we're here to make mistakes and to learn from them. So I feel like you're going to be definitely stepping into a new chapter of life. It just feeling so good. They're saying that some of you are trying to hide away from romance. It's not going to happen, though, because you can run, but you can't hide. So they told me to pull another card to tell you about how that looks. <laughs> beloved. Some of you are going to be re reuniting with your beloved. And this is Archangel Hanayo. So passion. As you step into your passion, victory is the result. That's the message that I'm getting. Use this energy abundantly. Use it. It's so good right now. The other card that came up, Archangel Zachael, beloved card, reuniting with your beloved, searching for your beloved, your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever that is, because we all know some of us have dealt with meeting a so-called twin flame or soulmate, and it's not what you thought it was sometimes, or um, because, oh, as me and one of my friends were talking about, you know, we got to do a show, we got to do a show on this, um, but it was talking about, she was talking about meeting your, um, what are your, <laughs> I have to laugh, your, your higher self, like, you know, a soulmate or a twin flame, who is your higher, who is the embodiment, the lover of your higher self, and then the lower one. So you got them both, right? And you're going to run across them. And it's like whatever lesson you needed at the time and wherever you were, if you were in a period of time in your life where you figured you needed to take time off to reflect, to see what you needed, to allow certain spiritual messages to come through and to not really be external and out there. And maybe you felt some depression too. You felt a lot of isolation. You felt like being by yourself. And then you run across somebody during that time and you meet that person. They're going to have some of the same things going on with them, but it may look completely different. And so this other person could be projecting their hurts off on you, things like that, because they're going through some depression and trying to realize who they are. And this happens, identity crisis, blah, 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 and all that. But then you come and some of you are done and you don't want to deal with a lower type of energy lover anymore. You want that lover who is, what are they doing? What does that lover do that you, what would that lover be doing who is living their highest truth or their higher truth? Just a step up is even better than the lowest for some of you, right? So they're saying, is this person doing yoga every day? Are they, what are they doing? What are some of the things this person does? Do they meditate every day? Do they go out into nature? Are they just a happy person? Is this person living their truth? Is this person uplifting and encouraging? Is this person a leader? Is this person someone who does not control others, who understands that what they do in their own life, that is going to be like the most important thing for them. And they needn't worry about what other people are doing. What is this person doing? So some of you are looking around, the unicorn's looking around to meet its lover, to meet, to meet that one that compliments them where they are. If you've uplifted yourself and you're ready for that, for that next level love, I definitely feel like it's a good time. But I feel like it's a best, a better time to um, 
to meet the person, but take your time because you meet someone during a retrograde, who knows who that is? Because the mask has to fall off regardless. Really, it has to fall off whether it's Mercury retrograde or not. So I feel like um, you're going to be looking ahead and seeing what's coming up next and, and really putting yourself out there, making yourself more available. For those of you who are introverted or shy, you're going to be putting yourself out there in little ways and people are going to notice you whether you do it or not. So if you're looking for that, that new level love, and all you have to do is, is let the universe know that you're free and that you're open for it. But do, they're saying, make sure that you're giving the love that you want, that you're giving it to yourself first and foremost. And, don't, and, and, and then you'll see it. You'll see it coming in. Yeah, they're saying that you'll see it coming in. So that was your reading. Yes, it was long. Yes, the other one's extra long. And I really honestly had intention of doing a five-minute reading a piece, no longer than seven minutes a piece. But it feels so good to do the reading. So I just went ahead and did it. If you would like a personal reading from me, as you know, this is general. So all messages are not going to resonate with you please contact me for a personal reading. You can go to my website and leave a voicemail on there too um, using SpeakPipe on the side of the website. And I definitely look forward to working with you. And um, it's going to be a great week no matter what's going on. So keep your head up. Keep smiling. Keep shining. You're beautiful. All right? And know that. That nobody can stop that. And if you are, again, in something that's really not good, then call up a hotline if you're dealing with some abuse and, and begin to make your exit strategy. Look for some of the courses I have coming out also because they have to do with healing and working with your guides. So the first one that's definitely coming out, you'll definitely hear about it. It's Get Happy and Transform. And it's a seven-week course and it's up. Right now, I'm doing is adding a couple of uh, lectures to it because a few more I feel like are necessary. But all the contents there is already done, and I was working on it for years. So I am excited, and I'll talk to you all soon. All right, love you.